Jesus is real to me. Jesus oh, is real to me. Yes. Jesus oh, is real to me. Yes. So many people doubt so me. So many people doubt me. I can't live without but him. I can't live without him. And that is why I love him so. Jesus is real to me. a short but critical race theory. Somewhere, there's a man sweating and weeping in the South. The man's labor is an incomplete thought hanging in the mind of the master of the manor. As a matter of Southern manor, the master of the manor has a half memory of the laborer's humanity leaves the thought hanging there, like weeping cotton, like a supplicant under the lash with no option but to feel the wrath of a pirate obsessed with the theft of the weeping man's dignity. The South remembers the expression of the trees, like a child looking away from the doctor's needle who wants to stand there still staring at the blood on your leaves. The South remembers the cotton weeps. The North starlit, Harriet and Scarlet, watch nights and oracles. The master of the manor takes a perverse pleasure in luxury through torture. The laborer will tell you of the fabric that costumed it all, of a dead body as both dance and drum, of a neck new snapped, rhythmic impact gone, swaying with the wind, gong like a dilla kick against a tree trunk. The cotton muffles the sound of its own weeping, cries inaudibly like eye contact between cheaters and keepers of secrets, quiet as a knife while master sleeping in the sheets of enslaved sewing, he reaps Jesus with impeccable spell, with soulful genius, with abundance and fidelity to the soil and what it yields as if fruit can come from God's earth and not feel what its roots have redeemed in some version of American truth. Cotton weeps power from the pores of a powder blue sky. Cotton is a hurricane, swept through and then gone, swept in like a black life and then gone with the wind, gone like the truth of a dark American night. Cotton is a strange fruit, indeed breathtakingly animate as it is authored in the memory of Southern order, the methodology of American innovation and efficiency, the truths we tell or hide. And why? And why a broken man would broker a hanging memory of an ancestral lie? And why be critical? Why theorize about race? Why not sit still in the window, staring into the void, listening to the muffled sound of cotton as she weeps? Mm -hmm.